Mr. Ambassador, could you just tell us what happened? <laughs> it's, Please, it's, kind it's of very coup. important to it's tell the world. Coup, you know, you know, you, you understand that it's kind of coup. In the middle of London, you know, uh, this kind of you know coup is not going to happen. Myanmar's ambassador to the UK, Jazar Min, stood outside his embassy Wednesday night in disbelief. He told reporters he had been locked out, with sources saying the building had been taken over on behalf of the country's military. You can see that, you know, they, they, they occupy my building. Or, you know, this is my building, you know, I, I need to go inside. That's why I'm waiting here. Okay. Although not vocally supportive of the pro-democracy movement, the ambassador had broken ranks with the junta in recent weeks, calling for the release of ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi and meeting with her son in London. The military took over the country in a coup d'etat back on February 1st and has since killed almost 600 peaceful pro-democracy protesters who have challenged its rule. Diplomatic sources said that a deputy ambassador had taken over for Jazar Min and that he had been locked out of the embassy by a military attaché. He is not the first diplomat in Myanmar to anger the military regime. A month after the coup, Myanmar's ambassador to the UN demonstrated his support for pro-democracy protesters with a three-fingered salute, calling for the strongest possible action against the junta. The British public is also voicing its support. Flowers and signs line the gates of the embassy to remember those killed in the democratic uprising and calling for the release of Aung San Suu Kyi.